Hey everyone, it's Rachel and I'm back home now. So I saw Chase Russell do this video after his program where he did a haul on everything he bought during his program. He did it with his roommates while he was still there. However, my program got cut short quite a bit. So I didn't get the chance to do that with like my roommates or anything. So I'm just gonna do one now. So I bought quite a bit during my program and I think I'm gonna like kind of do it somewhat systematically. I'm gonna start with like the clothing items I got. I didn't get too much, but like I did get a decent amount of stuff during my program. So the first items, this hoodie. Basically everyone had it. It was the only one I really liked and I was looking on my last day for a sweatshirt because I hadn't got one yet. So that was the one I got. I then got this cute little alumni association. It's also got it on the back, which I quite like. I've been sleeping in it but it's so comfy and I had to have some like alumni merch. I got this shirt, this is like a Mickey Mouse one. I got this one at Cast Connections. It's just Mickey Mouse, it's got the little bits on the sleeves. And I, I just wore this with like jeans all the time. I needed more Mickey Mouse merchandise though, so I bought that one. Um, I went and bought lots of stuff at Company D. And so I got this one, the spirit jersey, it's the black one that says cast member. And then I got another cast member one. So this one's the Tinkerbell one that says cast member there. And then on the back it says making the magic. I'm a big Tinkerbell fan. So as soon as I saw that there was a cast member spirit jersey that was like Tinkerbell inspired, I got it instantly. Um, then another spirit jersey. This one, however, is not a cast member one. This is just one that says Walt Disney World. And it's the purple one. I really wanted one that said Walt Disney World as well as as like the cast member ones because I have a Disneyland one so I wanted one like that said Disney World. So I got this one on my last day <laughs> again. Um, this one I bought on impulse one day but I don't regret it because I love it. It's one that everyone has too. It says Walt Disney World. I like yellow so I'm gonna love wearing this around now. I wore it like twice while I was there and then I had to leave. So that's all my clothing. So I collect Starbucks mugs. So one of the first things I bought everywhere was the Starbucks Parks ones. I love them a lot. This one's the Magic Kingdom one. I also got the Animal Kingdom one, the Epcot one, and the Hollywood Studios one. I got them all with my disc, like the extra discount for Christmas, but the Hollywood Studio ones, because I could only get that on my cast preview day and my last day, but I got it on my cast preview day because I wanted to make sure I got it before I left. I also got this Starbucks one. It's got all the park icons on it, which I really like. I'm clearly using it to drink water now, but I love this. And then I have this mug, which is a Tinkerbell one. I was trying to talk myself out of buying it and then I bought it one day and was like cool I have it now and then on my last day I impulse bought this Tinkerbell shot glass or as they are they are on the machines it's a Tinkerbell toothpick holder okay next up is some random items I got this one's still in a Disney Parks bag um I got coffee I don't drink coffee then um I also bought this baby this is probably the most expensive thing I bought. Um, it's my lounge fly. I have another one. And when I bought that one, I'd really wanted like the rose gold sequined one. However, it was out of stock everywhere. And then I've decided since that, that I didn't really like it when the ears were on the front. So I ended up getting the sparkly red one, which is beautiful. And I also will get to it, but I got the matching ears. So I got that lounge fly. My last day I decided to also buy this Loungefly wallet. It's the one that's like all the different colours of Mickey. Because my backpack's like just this Mickey, like just regular Mickey all over it. So it like kind of matches but doesn't. And I really like that. So I bought a pressed penny book. I didn't end up getting that many pressed pennies. I only got that many. Because all my, like I was getting paid by card and not in coins, or in cash or anything. So I never had coins on me. So therefore, never ended up getting pressed pennies when I saw them because I thought I had a lot more time. 
I also got this autograph book. I got this one at Cast Connection, so I got it discounted. And I've got a whole three signet, four signatures in it. First page is Tinkerbell. Surprise, surprise. And then I bought these two on these two prints on my last day. Well, my last day of work. Um, I thought they'd be really pretty to frame or something. They're like they're cards. They come with an envelope too, but. I thought they'd be cute to like frame and put in like a montage of some sort. I then, this is my pictures. I didn't technically buy this because I got gifted them on my last day. I went to buy some pictures because I hadn't, didn't have any. So I got this one of me and my friend Olivia. I got this one, Timon and Rafiki. And I got this one of me with Tinkerbell. And then another random items I got. I bought myself a magic band. I bought this one with my discount. And it is a customised one, so it's just Tinkerbell and I got a black, but, and didn't get my name on it. And then I also bought this for my brother. This is a Haunted Mansion bow tie. Um, it was a lot, but I got it for my brother so he could wear it to his school ball. And another random item I bought, I bought this name tag. My first name tag said Wellington, New Zealand, which is technically where I'm from, but this one says Wellington Aotearoa, because I thought that would be... Pretty fun thing to have on a name tag. I got a bag from one of the reusable bags from each of the parks. These are the medium ones because it was just like the perfect size to get groceries with. I, however, did not get the Animal Kingdom one because that was the only one I missed. And then I bought a lot of a decent amount of jewelry. So the first one would be this ring. It's the castle ring. Um, I got this necklace that I have on now. Actually, it's just like, it's this. It's Florida State, and then it's got a little Mickey head over like Orlando area, which I thought was really cute. Then also bought the birthstone Mickey Mouse. The It's not really showing up well, but it's the birthstone Mickey Mouse earrings and necklace. I got them in the ruby for July because it's my birth month. So next up is like all the headwear I got, I guess. I got the red Minnie Mouse one. I got this one, I got this one from Cast Connection, so I think it's discontinued, but it's like watermelon coloured. I also got this one at Cast Connections, it's a little ice cream with the bite out of it, I think it's really cute. I also got the Animal Kingdom kind of ears, like the tiger print. And then last set of ears is the 2020 ones, so they say 2020 there. I bought these at the airport on my way home because I really wanted them and they'd sold out. And I got these bows. So wait, which way do we go? We go this way. And so they light up. This one's kind of a bit fussy. So this is the bell one. They're, and then this is the aerial one. This one like consistently lights up. So they light up and they're really cute. And I wear hair bows all the time. So I wanted, I impulse bought this one, but. I really wanted the bell one and honestly I want all of them now too and then I have another ear hat so this one's actually the ear hat I got from traditions um I got it embroidered though so that's why I'm counting it it says CEP 2020 which means like my cultural exchange program and then I got two hats so one of the this one is for my boyfriend because I was looking for a hat for him so this is what I ended up getting on my last day because he was going to come visit so I without having to buy him one. And then I bought this one. I was struggling to find a hat that I liked that I thought he would and then this was the cutest one there at the time. So I bought this, but I think this one's for me now because I think it's really cute. So lastly, we have all the pins I bought. They're in a little bag, so this one might take a while. Okay. I want to try to do this kind of fast. So I got this Hollywood Studio one that goes up and down. I got this little Animal Kingdom-esque bird one. This is a Cartoon Network exclusive pin, which is Jiminy Cricket with like a name tag. I got the castle. I got the Epcot one. I got this 2020 one. It like, they spin, wait. Um, I got this D one with like the Disney font. Because I got to go to the cast preview of Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, I bought one of those pins. Um, I then bought a Bolt and Penny pin, because I'm a big Bolt fan. So these are all the pins that were in a mystery set or something. So I have this 2021 
in this 2021. I didn't end up trading like any pins. So they're all like pretty random <laughs> ones that I do have. So I've got this Tinkerbell rollerblade, which is because I collect Tinkerbell pins. Um, and this bottle cap one, which I tried very hard for. I then have this Kingdom of Cute Dumbo one and this Kingdom of Cute Sword in the Stone one. I have two cast member ones that are Moana themed. I have a Dumbo bottle cap pin, which is from the same set as the Tinkerbell one. Obviously I got this one because I was trying to get the Tinkerbell one. And then I have what's on my lanyard. So I bought this lanyard too. I also bought a thing for the bottom of it, but then it broke. And so I bought this one at Cast Connections because it was really cheap. This is another bottle cap one with Pete's Dragon, which I got while I was trying to get the other one. Um, this is the Dumbo Rollerblade that I got. And then I have, I got these two and that is all for the pins I got. So I did get a couple more items though. I got my mum a pair of sunglasses and I got some magnets and bits and I just some other presents for people. But that is all for what I got on my Disney Cultural Exchange program. Bye. <laughs>